Hello everyone, this is Chandan Singh and today I will be giving a brief demo of Entity Embed module for Drupal 8. And as the description says, this allows you to embed any entity using a WYSIWYG editor and a text format. But that doesn't make this much clearer, is it? So I will try to briefly explain what it does. So this module basically ships with two components. First is a text filter and second is the CK editor plugin for that filter. So the first part is the text filter. So what text filter does is, as soon as you write or define a div, something like this, which is a div with a certain defined data attributes, it will render that div, it will basically replace that div with the that particular entity. So in this case, since we have entity type as node and entity ID as one, it will basically uh, embed that node with ID one inside this div, as simple as that. We don't use any special markup, we just use standard divs with data attributes. Now, using data attributes as such is definitely not a good user experience. So we have a CK editor plugin for that. And what that plugin will do is that will basically generate this this kind of a markup for the filter to consume. And I'll be giving a brief demo of how that plugin works very so shortly. So uh, first of all, you need to install this module and as you can see this is still under development but yes the current dev release still works so you can either download it from drupal.org and yes we have the namespace already registered it's drupal.org slash project slash entity underscore embed or you can find the link to github repo that is github.com slash drupal media hype slash entity embed and you can clone the latest release from github just to tell you that all the development work is currently going on on github so you'll get more recent releases on github than on drupal.org so anyway once you have downloaded the module into your modules directory for drupal 8 then you need to enable that and as you can see i already have enabled this module entity embed so the next thing is you need to configure this module so we'll go into configuration and text go to text format and editors here i'll be customizing my full html format and that's a recommended place to use this then so you'll see this little e button this button is for the ck editor plugin you can drag it anywhere you want i'll just simply drag it somewhere here and that's so now we have our plugin ready but if you recall, we also need our text filter. So for that, you will you need to take this display and embedded entities checkbox, and we are done. So we'll save this configuration, and yes, so let's go back and add some content. Great. So you can see this little E button here, and so. Let's see, let's give a nice little title here. And uh, okay, so let's basically embed entity. So, so this pops up. So as soon as you click on this E icon, this insert entity dialog box pops up. And here you can select any entity. See, you have content, you have users, you have everything. So this is something like node embed for Drupal 7, apart from the fact that it works for any entity and it's far more configurable so i'll be going to embed my node one so in this box you can either en enter entity id or uid both work then you click next so you can see the select entity was node one this is the title of my entity then you get to choose the display plugin so for example let's choose this rendered entity and i don't want to show links and let's use the view mode as teaser you can also let's align it to the right just for the sake and here we go so you have your node one cool so then again if you want to edit this it's as look at you can just double click on it you can change the alignment you can change the view modes and all so here you go with the label display plugin and if you go to source you will see all the data attributes that i was talking about so you will see 
data entity embed display where you specify the display plugins you have data entity embed settings where you specify the settings for the particular plugin then you have entity id you have entity uuid which is the recommended way for using it and then you have text alignment then as soon as you go back you still have your preview here and when you hit save the preview gets transformed into that particular node and so that's it so it's ad, as simple as that and this works for everything so like here we embedded a a node entity we can do that with anything so let's try something else so uh, let's try images so images are basically files uh, let me find that ah, file and I have that UID of the image that I just uploaded and so yeah this was Drupal Ninja.png yes, that's it and see as soon as you go upload to choose an image entity you get all these new options so for example you have generic file you have table of files and all that but you always also have this image so I'll go with this image and then you have this bunch of options you have alt text you have title and link image to so yes so you can choose the image size and all so let's do that and so you can see apart from this node entity now we also have image entity and the module is doesn't need to be changed for all those entities so like you can use it for any entities in general so that's pretty cool and uh, see you have this your node and you have this, this your image so this module is pretty much complete and apart from the fact that the way we choose entities right now is not pretty good so as you can see you have to fill in the ID or UID right now and so we realize that this is not a very good user experience and we are planning to change that very shortly so we have an entity browser module as soon as that's ready we'll integrate this with entity embed module and so this instead of specifying the ID manually you can then you will be able to select an entity then we have a couple of more features that we want to add to this I won't get in specifics right now but yeah so if you want to test it out it's pretty good right now and you can have a look uh, if you have any issues with this, this module you can either uh, report them on from the Drupal.org page and if you want to help us out you can just submit a pull request on the github repo patches on the issues are still good but we prefer pull requests as of now and if you have any doubts you can catch me as cs underscore shadow on pound drupal hyphen media irc channel on free node or you can mail me or anything uh, my contact details are listed below hope you have a good day thank you